Come on in here, motherfuckers! You think you're big time? You're gonna fucking die, big time! Welcome back guys to another Joe Cobra video. Today's video is for Carlitos Way, a 1993 American crime drama film directed by Brian De Palma and stars Al Pacino, Sean Penn, Penelope Ann Miller, Luis Guzman, John Leguizamo and Viggo Mortensen. Carlitos Way is one of the truly underrated films of Brian De Palma and Al Pacino's filmographies. It may not have received the praise it deserved upon its cinema release, but it has received a big cult following for many years now. The acting is superb as the viewers are treated to Sean Penn's wonderful performance, Al Pacino's solid main lead, and an awesome supporting cast and a very tense subway chase scene. Aside from its excellent performances, it has memorable moments and some violent scenes making this another classic De Palma and Pacino collaboration. Al Pacino plays Carlito Brigante, a Puerto Rican drug dealer whose 30 year sentence is cut short to 5 years thanks to a loophole found by his sleazy cokehead lawyer Dave Kleinfeld. Once free, Carlito shocks the criminal community by claiming he is going straight. He plans to save up some money to open up a car rental business in the Bahamas while also trying to rekindle his relationship with his old flame Gale. But as good as his intentions are, Carlito is soon dragged back into the criminal life by new and former associates, like up-and-coming gangster named Benny from the Bronx, as well as his close friends and lawyer Dave Kleinfeld, who further complicates things after getting caught up in a life-or-death situation involving a made man who is determined to escape from prison. I'm a lawyer. Listen, you lawyer fuck. I got a million dollar credit with you. Look at my hands, huh? Now you make me raise my voice and I'll snap your neck like a breadstick. You fucking phony, what do you take me for? Al Pacino is fantastic as the conflicted Carlito Brigante, a man who wants to help his friends but at the same time is determined to go straight. While watching the movie you truly want him to succeed in escaping his past and to get back with the woman he loves. But just like in The Godfather, the criminal life just keeps pulling him back in. Pacino is such a versatile actor and this role gives him the range to show us every emotion possible. Surprisingly, Pacino didn't even receive an Oscar nomination, which is a strange one as I felt this was definitely one of his best performances and felt he was much better here than in The Scent of a Woman, for which he did win the Oscar. But hey, that's Hollywood for ya. But make no mistake, Pacino's brilliant performance as Carlito Brigante along with his narration is definitely the beating heart of the movie. Penelope Ann Miller as Carlito's love interest Gail, who for me felt a little bit out of place in the movie, plays a young dancer who is fascinated and in love with Carlito, but wants him to leave his criminal past behind and she's another reason why Carlito wants to go straight. I gotta do this, just this one thing and then I'm out. I, got, I owe Dave, you I gotta- You don't know I'm shit! You think you do, Charlie? That's the problem with you. That's why nobody like you gets out, no matter what they say. The cast is also populated by some great seedy villains like John Leguizamo as the new gangster on the block Benny from the Bronx. He was really good and very memorable and this was one of his early breakthrough roles. My name is Benny Blanco from the Bronx. You know me? Yeah, I know you man. You Carlito Pigante motherfucker to the max, that's who you are. Well, I don't know you, so I don't owe you. Sasso does. My place now, new rules. Everybody pays. Luis Guzman as Pachanga, one of Carlito's bodyguards, who is always up for murdering someone, was fun to watch too. And Vigo Mortensen also shows up in a very small role as Laline, a former friend of Carlito's. I got fucking diapers. I shit my pants every day. I can't walk. I can't hump. You know? Go ahead and kill me, you cocksucker. Every single one of them play their parts really well, while also adding a lot to the plot of the film. And then we have Sean Penn as Dave Kleinfeld, who is an absolute joy to watch and a fantastic character. His sleazy, coke-sniffing scumbag lawyer with the Art Garfunkel hairstyle is easily my favorite character of the movie. And just like Pacino, he wasn't even considered for a Best Supporting Actor Oscar, which was always a surprise to me, as after watching the film for the first time, I did not even know it was Sean Penn playing the role, he was that good. He was simply mesmerizing and for him to all but steal the show from Al Pacino was mighty impressive and this is easily my favorite Sean Penn role. You gonna let this fucking goomba call you a woman like that? Hey, you're just dancing. Don't you appreciate that? The, the, the movement, the 
rhythm. Yeah, what I don't appreciate is this guy's fucking hands all over her ass. If it were not for what Sean Penn gives us in Carlito's Way, this would have easily been the Al Pacino show. But in the end, I have always felt that their scenes and chemistry together are what truly make this film so unforgettable. I'm in trouble. I mean, I'm in fucking trouble here. You are the only fucking person on earth that I can trust. The movie also has some real great looking shootouts and moments of violence. The whole on foot subway chase scene is one of the best parts of the movie. Director Brian De Palma really knows how to create some tense sequences and that end chase scene is very much proof of that. And just a quick thought on the fine musical score which was composed by Patrick Doyle which really fitted in well with Carlito's conflicted state of mind as well as the film's narration from Pacino himself. We also get some classic 97's disco music that plays throughout the club scenes that also add to the feel of the movie. Carlitos Way received a positive response from critics, but only made just over 9 million during its opening weekend, and by the end of its theatrical run, the film had grossed over 37 million domestically, but has since become a cult film. Both Sean Penn and Miller received Golden Globe nominations for their performances, but neither of them won. A prequel titled Carlitos Way Rise to Power, based on the first novel, was released in 2005, but please don't waste your time with that director video garbage. So to sum it up, Carlitos Way has got a brilliant script, great direction, wonderful performances, a fun soundtrack and beautiful cinematography, making it a must see especially for those of you who enjoy gangster crime films. It's not as violent as say Scarface but I feel it has more heart and much better character development, but also has enough holy shit moments to keep Scarface fans happy. If you are yet to see this Brian De Palma classic then make sure to give it a watch and if you have then leave your comments on what you thought of the film down below. And don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up right now if you enjoyed the video and hit the bell button so you never miss one of my latest videos. Thank you so much for your time guys, take care and I'll see you all on the next Joe Cobra video. You think you big time? Big time! You ready? Here come the pain!